My name is Nicole Crooks, and I am the Chief Protectress of Joy, Legacy, and Well-Being with the Indigo Butterfly Effect, located here in beautiful and historic Overtown, Florida, which is located in Miami. I'm really happy to be here with you today, reading to you one of my favorite books written by one of my favorite people in the world, Kelly Doyle Bailey. The name of this book is called some days I breathe on purpose, learning to be a calm, cool kid. Written by Kelly and illustrated by her beautiful and creative daughter, Hannah Bailey. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I enjoy the honor of being able to read it with you. All right, so let's just start by taking a moment to breathe on purpose. Throughout this book, one of the things that you'll see is Maisie, which is the beautiful main character of this book, put her hand on her heart and the other one on her stomach and just take a deep breath in and we can do that so that we can ground and get ready for this moment. So if you just inhale, that means breathe in through your nose. Exhale, Whew. through your mouth. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Some days I breathe on purpose, learning to be a calm, cool kid. Hi. I'm Maisie, and I'm a calm, cool kid. You see the little flower in her hair? But some days and nights, I flip my lid. Oh boy, Maisie does not look too happy right here, does she? Not in either one of those pictures. Flipping my lid means I lose my cool. It can happen at home, in the car, or at school. So Maisie's just thinking about all those places. Let me tell you, sometimes when I'm in my car here in Miami, I lose my cool. I flip my lid. But Maisie's going to show us ways that we can be calm and cool. I have two friends, Grace and Max. They know lots of ways to be calm and relaxed. And we met Max and Grace in two other books with the Calm Cool Kids collection. Um, we met Max in Some Days I Flip My Lid and we met Grace in Some Nights I Flip My Lid. Those are two amazing books too. Max taught me a new way to learn how to breathe so I won't flip my lid and fight, run, or freeze. You see them sitting there? One hand on their heart, one hand on their stomach, and breathe. Grace taught me a new way to ground in one place so I won't flip my lid when I am hot in my face. These new ways are called mindful tools. When we do them on purpose, we can be calm and cool. Do you see Maisie's hairstyle? I used to do my baby, my baby girl's hair like that. I love it, the little puff puffs. <laughs> Here's the truth. We all flip our lids. It's true. But mindful tools can help grown-ups and kids. So right here, it looks like Maisie, it's time for bed. And Maisie's playing a game. And she's not really ready for the game to be over. But Dad's saying, last game, then bedtime, Maisie. And so even though she's upset, both Dad and Maisie are sitting on her bed. Hand on her heart. Dad has his hand on his heart. The other hand on the stomach. And breathing on purpose. 
Would you like these mindful tools so you can choose on purpose to be calm and cool? Keep on reading and you will see how easy mindful tools can be. Every day, I remember to breathe when I'm calm and cool or I'm weak in my knees. You're lazy, she's doing yoga. <laughs> Maybe this is silly to you because everyone breathes. It's just what we do, right? We all have to breathe. We all have to breathe. <laughs> but breathing on purpose is different, you see, because you breathe intentionally. So that means that you take the time to just be where you are and know where you are. It's breathing on purpose. So let's take another deep breath. Breathe in through your nose. <sighs> out through your mouth. Ah, <sighs> Did you let all that air out? All right. That's breathing intentionally. If you are curious to learn a new way to breathe on purpose, night or day, keep turning the pages and I'll show you everything you need to do. You see Maisie, she's breathing on purpose at night. She's breathing on purpose during the day. I breathe on purpose when I start my day. She's sitting on the bed, hand on her heart, one on her belly. I breathe on purpose when I look both ways. It says, look both ways. She's in the crosswalk. This Maisie is a little bit older, but sometimes, a lot of times, we need to see if we need to have an adult next to us, right? Crossing the street in the crosswalk so we can make sure that we're safe. Maisie's safe. I breathe on purpose before I talk. So it looks like Maisie's in art class. She's taking a deep breath. She's like, take a deep breath, Maisie. Look at that art teacher. Isn't she beautiful? I breathe on purpose when I take a walk. Look at the trees. Can you see the little dragonfly? I breathe on purpose when I feel worry or fear. We all feel scared or worried sometimes. And one of the things that can help us move through that moment is just hand on the heart, hand on the stomach, take a deep breath. Sometimes I remind myself, I'm saying, Nicole, you're okay, as I breathe. I breathe on purpose when a snake is near. And Maisie's mom says, good thing we know how to breathe when we feel afraid, right? I know that's right. I breathe on purpose when I feel sad or alone. I breathe on purpose when I want to go home. It looks like she's in the nurse's office and she's not feeling too good. Hmm. I breathe on purpose when I try something new. Look at Maisie doing ballet. Go ahead, Maisie. I breathe on purpose when I'm sick with the flu. I breathe on purpose when I meet a new friend. Look at the little puppy. Aww. And I breathe on purpose when my day ends. Breathing on purpose is simple and neat. It's a way to calm down from my head to my feet. When my mind starts to wander with a memory or plan, you see all the things that Maisie's talking about, thinking about, talking about in her head, but thinking about, right? To do math homework, dance class, art project. But the most important of all of them is to breathe on purpose. That way, you know, you'll get through all of them, right? 
I put my hand on my heart while I sit still or stand. I breathe a full breath right through my nose. <sighs> I soften my eyes and I let them stay closed. My heart stops pounding and my mind gets a rest. I go on with my day, just doing my best. So one of the things that I always want you to remember is when you do your best, it is enough. Always do your best and know that you are enough. We're all human, so some days we make mistakes, but I want you to know how amazing and how magical and how enough you are. Would you like to try it too before you flip your lid? Before you lose your cool, remember, only you get to choose. The choice is yours. There's nothing to lose. Do you want to breathe on purpose? Okay. So the next time you start flipping your lid, breathe on purpose and be a calm, cool kid. Teach breathing on purpose to your family and friends. So everyone learns to make lid flipping end. Anyone can be a calm, cool kid. Anyone can stop flipping their lid. Anyone can learn mindful tools. Anyone, I made a mistake. See, I'm human. Anyone can learn mindful ways to stay calm and cool night and day. Now this part is important. Please listen to me. When we breathe on purpose, mindfully, when the world is filled with grown-ups and kids just doing our best without flipping our lids, then everyone is safe at home or school because breathing on purpose keeps us all calm and cool. And you see this beautiful world filled with all of these beautiful people, all of these beautiful children filled with love. And that's the end. And now if you have a grown up that's there with you, can you let them know that I just wanna to talk to them really quickly? Thank you. Hi, grown-ups. Hi, caregivers or educators or just someone who invests in our children. I just wanted to really take a moment to let you know the beauty, some of the beautiful pieces of this book, right? And Kelly, with her infinite wisdom and just all of her joy and love and passion for children, wanted to make sure that you had all the tools necessary to help usher our babies in breathing on purpose and using the tools. And so she has equipped this book with so many resources, so many examples of breathing, of counting breaths, of belly breathing, three to five breathing, energized balloon breathing, and just knowing how to do that on our own so that we can help our children to do that. It's almost like we're putting on our own oxygen masks first so that we can support the ones that we love the most and that we want to do well and we want to see succeed. We're ushering them through, ushering ourselves through, right? Um, and so there are examples of that in this book. Um, she writes a little love note. You have to know Kelly's heart, right? So she writes literally a love note to families, caregivers, and educators to just really talk about her intention and her vision and the mission that she's on to make sure that all children are able to learn through settled, through a settled brain, through a settled heart. Um, and her acknowledgement. So I firmly... Um, offer to you to go and to get this book. It's sold where every book is sold on Amazon, 
um, in your local bookstore. Um, and then also you see a beautiful picture of Kelly and her daughter, Hannah, right here. I have to tell you personally that one of the reasons why I love this book so much is that growing up, one of my first memories was of doing yoga with my mom. And as I got older, I realized that there were so many people who looked like me that didn't think that we belonged in that space, but we do. We deserve to be in this space, right? We deserve for our children to be able to regulate themselves through difficulties, through happy, through sad times. And mindfulness is a tool for that. Um, to be able to look at the book and look at Maisie, that beautiful little girl, and to see a reflection of my daughter and so many little girls like her that oftentimes don't think that they belong in this space is so powerful. So I'm just so glad that Kelly and Hannah have taken their heart and their soul and placed it in book form. And sometimes, in some days I breathe on purpose. And I just, I hope that you love the book. I hope that you share it with all of the people that you know and love, we know that we are one and that there is no separation. And at the end of the day, only love remains. So thank you and have an amazing day. Be well.